to Una Wetuna and Gaul. Please don't forget to hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe already. We just arrived to Una Wetuna from Marissa, which is just under an hour drive. We are staying at a place called Tamba Pani Retreat where we paid approximately 70 Canadian dollars. So we just got to our last hotel in Sri Lanka. We're in Una Wetuna. Such a fun name. Bathroom, nice and good. Check the shower pressure after. Look how cute it is! It's so cute! They put little flowers. That's so nice. So oh. we're a three-minute walk from the beach. Okay. Mini fridge. <coughs> Stopped. Prices. Coffee, tea in the morning, and then now look at this. So cute here. This hotel was perfect. So the restaurant for breakfast is right over there. Reception is right over there. Our room is right over there. Oh, this place is so cute. And it's nice and quiet. So for us. <laughs> So this is the bottom of the street, like little laneway to the hotel, and there's a couple of like little stores if you need anything. Just wait until you see this beach. The beach here was absolutely beautiful. The water was so nice, the sand was so soft. There's lots of little beach bars and restaurants with beach loungers for you to pick from. Enjoy these beach views.
we're heading to Gaul for the afternoon, which is about a 15 minute drive from Una Watuna. Just getting dropped off at the Gull Fort entrance where we caught a local match of cricket. Did you know the longest cricket game went on for 12 days between England and South Africa in 1939? The game was abandoned because the team from England had to catch their boat home. And these are really pretty. Patch are cool. Oh, I wish I had a bigger suitcase. I want to buy all of it. It's so cool. I don't know if you're allowed at the lighthouse anymore. I think you used to be able to be at one point. The Gaul Fort was first built by the Portuguese in 1588 and then extensively fortified by the Dutch from 1649 onwards. The heritage value of the fort has been recognized by the UNESCO and the site has been inscribed as a cultural heritage, UNESCO World Heritage Site for its unique exposition of an urban ensemble which illustrates the interaction of European architecture and South Asian traditions from the 16th to the 19th centuries. I'm not exactly a history buff, so I'll leave some links below if you're interested in learning more about the Gaul Fort. I like the way it's mysterious, I think I found my own. Is it easy to show with the weight of the world on my shoulders? I know I told you. It's the best slot I know. It's not a game that I am playing. While we were walking around, we heard some loud music. So we turned the corner and there was a music festival happening. Something we were not expecting. I will say the DJs were pretty good.
puppy. He's so cute. It's like fancy down here. We were starting to get hungry, so we stumbled into this place called Coconut Sambal. The restaurant was all you can eat for 1850 Sri Lankan rupees, so around 7 Canadian dollars. The food was excellent, and the man working was so nice. He explained all the dishes thoroughly. Unfortunately, I can't remember. You have to try the ginger beer too. We're back in Unawatuna. I hope you enjoyed our second last video in the Sri Lanka series. Coming up next, our last few hours spent in Colombo before heading to Bali. Please don't forget to give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.